today is a difficult day for the city of Miami. The city of Miami, this administration, is very proud of our police and fire. They have gone above and beyond what they need to do to service the people of Miami. What happened, it's very difficult to digest, and we're here to explain. I would like to first give you why this is an important issue, why it is very important for this administration, this manager, this chief, to have taken action. The city of Miami is one of, if not the most diverse city in the United States. The city of Miami have had growing pains. I, as a resident, as a journalist, as a, an elected official, I have lived through uh, the riots in Liberty City, in Overtown, in the West Grove, in Wynwood, the Leanne riots, and this city has been investigated by the Justice Department for civilian shooting. That is all in the past. Today, we have a perfect balance, but a very delicate balance. Everybody in this city looks different, but we all live, work, and play together. Our police force is taking mandatory classes on diversity. Our uh, administration has taken steps for equality. So today is with a heavy heart that we come here to give you uh, details of an incident that is unacceptable. And you will hear from our chief of fire and rescue with all the details. Some of you have already published uh, some information, but I can tell you that this incident has become national news. It's being published throughout uh, the United States. We have uh, requests for comments from every major network and national media because this is a national conversation. And I'd like to introduce the city manager of the city of Miami, Mr. Daniel Alfonso. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as the mayor stated, we are saddened today by the events that took place. And uh, the only thing I really want to say is that in the city of Miami, in the employment of the city of Miami, this behavior is not tolerated. And we have taken uh, significant and swift action. I'm going to have the chief come up and explain uh, all the process that took place to get here today. And uh, I just wanted to reiterate the community that we have given all of the support needed to the chief and the organization to investigate what happened. And uh, again, we're supporting his, his recommendations for the terminations that took place and uh, there may be uh, more to come uh, with other folks, but this, we're just not gonna tolerate this kind of behavior in the city of Miami. Uh, as the mayor said, there's a delicate balance that, that we all live in this community. It's important to all of us and uh, nobody should be, uh, nobody should have to be the subject of this kind of uh, behavior. First, I'd like to begin by thanking both the mayor and the manager for their support on this very difficult issue, as well as the Miami Police Department and my executive staff who have been um, side by side throughout the uh, course of this investigation. On Saturday, September 9th, 2017, the City of Miami Department of Fire Rescue was made aware of a situation involving unprofessional conduct that occurred in one of our fire stations. Based upon the information received, I felt it necessary to respond personally to the fire station at 2.30 a.m. When I arrived, I was disgusted and I was appalled by what I had seen. The defacement of multiple family photos, graphic and obscene renderings, and a noose draped over one of the photos. When I looked at the photos, Quite honestly, I could not help but to imagine my family, my wife, my kids, depicted in those photos. 
to me it was unconscionable that something like this could occur in one of my fire stations. The Miami Police Department was immediately notified and we requested an investigation into our discovery. The Department of Fire Rescue had taken immediate action, transferring all personnel in an unprecedented move that displaced all firefighters from that station on all three shifts as we awaited the results of the investigation. Now we've transferred individuals in the past, but we have never emptied an entire fire station. Immediately upon being advised of the findings of the investigation, the members involved were relieved of duty. On November 1st, after thoughtful and methodical deliberation with my executive staff, at my direction and with the city manager's support, one captain, one lieutenant, and four firefighters from our organization were terminated for offenses surrounding egregious and unprofessional conduct. It is the policy of the Department of Fire Rescue to provide a workplace for all of our employees that's free from intimidation, threats, or violent acts. The City of Miami Department of Fire Rescue is an organization that's rich in tradition. As a 27-year veteran of this organization, I've experienced most of these traditions. In the Miami Fire Department, we hold honor, integrity, respect of our fellow firefighters in the highest regard, treating each other with dignity and serving our citizens with compassion and with respect. These are the expectations I place on myself. This is what I demand from my executive staff. And this is what I demand from each and every firefighter under my command. It's how we as leaders are defined and it is how we all should be measured. If you do not believe in this philosophy, I promise you, you will struggle in our organization. If you do not practice this philosophy, you will not survive as a Miami firefighter. Miami firefighters are a very diverse group of individuals. And as the mayor said, our diversity is our strength. Our commitment to lay everything on the line in the service to our citizens is what binds us together. After all, the only reason for the existence of the Miami Fire Department is to serve the citizens of Miami. That remains our mission. It remains our focus. And I have zero tolerance for anything that deviates us or distracts us from this mission. Watch the news on any given day. You will see examples of things that divide us. Divide us as a community and divide us as a people. This patch that I wear proudly on my shoulder, this uniform, it represents one people, one team, and one mission. We are Miami firefighters. We will continue to protect this community with honor, with courage, and most importantly, with respect. I'd like to take this opportunity to address the family of our lieutenant. I'd like to give you my sincerest apologies for this childish, insensitive, and intolerable act. From the first day in recruit training, we teach our firefighters about family and about how your family is our family. All bonding together, regardless of race, religion, gender, or culture, and how we will always be here for you. You don't treat family this way. We know this. I am embarrassed and truly sorry for this insensitive, cruel, and offensive act. I would also like to say to the public, you have amongst the most dedicated, professional, and well-trained firefighters in the entire world. I am honored to be their leader. Whether responding to 911 calls every single day or being asked to respond nationally for search and rescue as they did recently for Hurricane Harvey in Texas, or internationally as they did in 2010 when an earth earthquake struck the island nation of Haiti. You have the very best responders right here in your community. I am committed as the fire chief to ensuring that their actions 
reflect their quality, reflect their capability, and most importantly, reflect their commitment to this community. Thank you.